Hey guys, back with another painting tutorial. This time we're going to do some long boats. These are 3D printed. I will have the link uh, of what that STL is, that file. And you can see I primed the models in a matte black and then I needed to add some turning areas for the actual game to work. So I used some cheap bracelet making uh, material, some string, and I glued it with PVA glue and super glued it on the side. All right, the first color you're gonna need to use, I wanna say this is just called craft paint, earth brown. I put cheap paint, but you can use your um, your apple barrel, your cheaper craft paints. And this is gonna be a fairly heavy dry brush. So, because that black will start peeking through, so you can see I'm, I'm hitting it pretty much. You really don't even need a dry brush for this. You can use like a, a larger bristle brush and make it work just fine. Uh, but the basically the top section on the hull on the outside and then all the rails here and you can see I'm making pretty pr pretty quick progress I go back and hit it again just because that black is um, you know after it dries it becomes pretty transparent a little bit all right and that finished that and now we're gonna go to apple barrel khaki we're gonna use this on the actual deck of the of the longbow and also the the uh, each individual section in between the, the rails there so this is actual dry brush so you want to make sure that you don't have a lot of paint on there and then just work in a circular motion as you can see because I want that sort of vintage or worn look on the outside um, you know towards the edges so you know work it in with that larger br dry brush I do it probably three or four times and then I move to a smaller dry brush and start working on each of these sections here. And you can see it starts coming together really, really quick. So again, take your time. Uh, that's a big thing with dry brushing. You don't want to rush it uh, because you, you know you want to keep the, those shadows and the contrast in that wood grain. There you are, looking already pretty good. Really happy with it. Alright, next color we're going to go to uh, Toasted Marshmallow by Apple Barrel. I think that's a funny color name, but you can use Ivory. It's really about the same color. Um, and we're going to paint the bottom section here. So from that rail, sort of in the middle section, all the way around it. Um, I wanted this color to be punched in pretty hard, so I did ha have to do two coats. Um, so again, try not to you know, put your paints on too thick. That's a big thing. Um, you know have them nice and thinned out um, it might take you a couple more coats but it'll look better in the end so and I love the FDM print I, th I think the FDM print really serves ships and stuff really well just because you see that wood grain you know it has its own texture anyways from the printing lines so um, I usually don't do uh, FDM for 28 millimeter but I think it really pulled, pulled off really well for these so all right Again, you could probably use ivory and get by with this color. You don't have to use this. So, like toasted marshmallow. It's just an off sort of creamy white a little bit. All right, we're gonna go back to khaki. This time we're gonna touch the ropes up as you can see in the other uh, long boat that I have up top. Uh, nice light sort of edge highlight. Uh, it will, they do, these are these are real, like real string. So it does have fibers to it. So um, just be mindful. Uh, less is better with this. And we'll wash it later. All right, now we're going to uh, move to highlights. Army Painter Greedy Gold. We're going to hit all the ore inserts here and all the bolts. I think this is a great color. It's sort of been my staple color for Blood and Plunder. It has like a gold. It's you know obviously it's in the name, but um, almost more of a brass look to it. Bright brass, so looking really good. So I hit all the tops first, and then I go and I uh, hit all the uh, edges on each of the. Uh, each of them. I'm doing three. I, you only see two long boats in the in the video picture, but I actually have three of them that I'm doing. A nice, nice big amphi amphibious land battle. It should be fun. Don't forget the hinges on the back of the rudder, and that's really the only metallics on the boat. And you definitely leave the model where it's at, and probably play it just fine. You know, put a varnish over it to protect it. Uh, but we're going to move a little bit farther with this. We're going to use uh, Pro Acryl Dark Ivory. And I think some of the cheaper craft paints, it's sort of hard to get that very sort of clean looking, um, like clean looking paint 
uh, if you're uh, trying to uh, punch some type of color in so this will help it I'm using almost a stippling technique with a dry brush just to punch it in a little bit harder and this looks really good so it almost gives it a little bit of highlight you could definitely use uh, dark ivory or another ivory from another line and, and get by with it now we're gonna go to our watches you need to protect the model first so put a, a mat or a semi semi uh, like a satin coat over the top varnish over it and then I use dark umber and black uh, from Winsor Newton line with some mineral spirits and you can see this is they've already been washed you know I let them sit there dry for for an afternoon and I didn't have to do anything after I was done I was able to just matte varnish them and here you are uh, totally completed uh, three long boats there all right this is the end product and you can see it's painted I think it looks really well fairly quick to do so I make sure that I, I do have the link in the description of the STL that I used and I have all the paints listed as I usually do so I, I do appreciate you guys tuning in remember to like and subscribe and I'll keep the content coming thanks